all right so in this video what i want to do is i want to help you create a, a locator map okay so this is your study area this is where that area can be found within your study area, within the uh, within ghana all right so you have to show an arrow to indicate where that that study area can be found within a larger place that's what a locator map is so i'm just going to do it with you and then let's see how it's done okay so let's say you had um you um you uh, what's the name you undertook a project in ashanti region in this red um in this red polygon all right so in the ashanti region of ghana okay if you want to create a locator map basically what it means is that you want to indicate where this ashanti region can be found with respect to ghana or probably with respect to a larger place okay so mostly it's about showing where a smaller place is with respect to a bigger place so let's let's say you are done probably styling your map all you have to do is go to new print layout you create a new print layout if you had a previous print layout you you create a new one i mean you continue with it but i'm just going to create a new one just for the sake of those who are seeing this for the first time so i could say locator map then i hit enter right so over here i draw where i want my map to appear okay now because i am going to be showing another map on my right hand side i'm going to give a little space so that that map can appear right now what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in to the specific place i'm working at so i have zoomed into um ashanti region i think it's too much let me go okay this this okay so i've zoomed into ashanti region i'm going to make this like around four so it goes in a Make it like two. All right, so this is cool. So I have Ashanti region here. Okay, I want the emphasis to be on the red part. Good. So now I have the red part here. I am just going to quickly indicate. Um, I'm going to quickly indicate what's the name? My north arrow. Let me add a north arrow here. Add a north arrow in this corner. And you you can always change the nature of your north arrow. Okay. So perhaps this time you want to use something like this. And then um looks like I'm getting tender tenders around my area. Okay, so I add my scale bar. Let me extend it by a bit. Okay, so I have my scale bar here. And what else do I add? Maybe a legend. Okay, so I'm going to add a legend here. Now with a legend, I don't need all these guys showing. So I'm going to turn autocomplete off and then I'll remove the excess ones I don't need. Okay. And even some of these guys, do I need them? Okay, I'll, I'll need them. So I just leave them. Actually, I don't need them. So I'll just turn them off. Turn, oh, turn them off. Turn them off. 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 I don't need them because they don't really mean anything with respect to my map. And if you if you think you need it, you can always add it. Remember, it's your it's 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 up to you. Okay, I would give the legend a frame. Okay, and I could even give it a name called legend. Okay, like this. Legend slash key. Some people call it a key. All right. So with this, I think I'm okay. Um, what else do I need to add? You can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel. And consider leaving a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. A title, right? So for the sake of this video, I'm going to call this one a locator map. Of Ashanti region. Then I'll quickly format it to 26. Bold it and pick a nice font. You would have to pardon the rain because okay so font style like this and hit okay all right so i think i'm good to go and then um i would always add this rectangle a rectangle from one corner to the last corner and drag it down so that it indicates this i mean it takes everybody inside its, its itself i don't know how to put this but it gives some kind of boundary i think it looks nice that way 
All right, so with this, I will add, perhaps you need some grids. So I'm going to select the map and add some grids to it. So I'm going to go down to grids here, add a new grid and modify it. Then I will choose my map unit and I'll give it an interval, say 10 by, uh, okay, let's say 20, 20 by 20. I don't know if this is okay. 25. I don't want it to be too clumsy, so I give a map interval, a skill, um, what's the name? A great interval that doesn't make it too clumsy. All right. So over here, instead of solid figures that is going to go across it, I'm just going to change this one to, uh, um, okay, you let's keep the solid and change the frame to interior exterior frames. Uh, I think I should just end up changing this one like this. All right, so this looks cleaner, right? Then I'll draw my um, coordinates. I'll just indicate my coordinates like this. Uh, I think I should realign the sky. Okay, so, well, it's, it's looking clumsy because of the coordinates. So I could either change my interval because this interval, well, I could either change my interval or I think I should change my interval to 30, 30. Um, what is the interval? So I select on the map, go down to grids, then I modify the grid I was working on. Then up here, I change the interval to, was it 30? 30 by 30, like this. Okay, so it looks better. Then I would come down under my draw coordinates. I would change the left to a vertical ascendant, so it turns like this and also the right to vertical ascendant so it turns like this all right i think this is much better okay so with this done i will try to draw my what's the name my locator map but before i do that there are two things you have to do first of all select on this map when it's selected lock the layers and lock layer uh, styles for the, this la uh, layer what it means is that anything you do this thing will not change okay so i'm just going to go back here and i'm going to turn this guy off where is ashanti region i'm going to turn ashanti region off right okay and i want to show ghana or i want to show ashanti region here so all i have to do now is come back here and add a new map remember how to add a map right so i'll add a new map here this is the ghana map in fact i'll turn the styling off because i don't need the styling on my locator sorry so i go to labels and i'll change to no labels i don't want any labels here okay so it should reflect now if you didn't turn the what's the name if you didn't turn the styling and um, layer on lock whatever you do on the background would affect this one okay so when i click on this um, content mover and i select the map it should update now all i have to do is zoom in to the proper extent maybe let me move it zoom it to 90,000 that's still too much 80 okay so I think it is good for me I could even make it one two three one two three okay I think this is good enough for me right so all I have to do is I'll lock this one also okay since I'm not zooming it anymore I'll actually give it a frame so it looks nice that way I would also give this guy change this change it to this so you you mostly find yourself changing between these two this one is for moving the content okay like this and this guy is for moving the stuff within it do you understand okay so because i want to adjust i'm going to select this guy and i'm also going to give it a frame so it appears like this all right now when i do that all i have to now do is um since i have enough arrow here i should give enough arrow for ghana also so i'll give enough arrow here too a small one then i'll show a small scale bar this way looks too big let me zoom in okay uh, i'm holding Control l this is not zooming in of the map this is zooming in of my screen okay i just want to see things clearly here so over here, I'll change the map unit to probably 10. That's too much. 100. Okay. Let's change to 150. 
oh 50 all right then I would change the what's the size this is height uh, it has a size column just going to change that so I'm just going to change this one to perhaps two okay for now let's try to move this map upwards like this so we have enough space down here all right so then i select the map again no the the scale bar and i change it to two on the right like this then i can realign them all right so i think this is better right all right so basically i think this is okay probably have to change the font font style of this scale bar down here okay but that's how to create your font uh, your skill what's the name your locator map or what i could do is i would just change this one instead of from a fixed width i'll just change it to a fit segment width and then i would make this one uh let's say make this one one meter uh, one millimeter and then um then Okay, let's make this. How about it? Right. I have to pick this a bit. Maybe 100 is too much. Make it 50. So 50 units. That's also too much, right? 30 units. Okay. So 30 units is it's okay like this. Then I can adjust my map to fit in the area. So basically, you can you have a skill. This now usually this is optional, but I always prefer to put enough arrow on my map so anybody anybody takes it knows um, which part uh, is the north. Okay, you can add grids as much space as you have. You can utilize that space. It's, it's completely up to you. So, but basically, let me zoom out again. Yeah. So, but basically, this is how it is. All right. So I have my outline here. I have my skill. What's the name? North arrow here. Uh, what am I calling it? Locator map here, and I have my north arrow skill bar legend, etc. Okay. So one more thing I have to do is I need to indicate where this is. I know this is this place, so I have to indicate a line or an arrow to show that. So I'm just going to either select on this arrow line, and then I can draw an arrow from this point to this point. Okay, then I click right click, it should accept. Now you can choose to maintain this particular arrow, but as you can see, it's not beautiful, right? The aim of cartography is to make things nice. So I'm just going to select on it, and down here I can choose the type of marker I want. I always prefer to use this kind of marker, right? So you can probably tweak it a bit. Uh, what would you like to change within it? Maybe you would like to change the I don't know color or something i think it's it's cool like this right let's let's maintain it like this so it's cool okay there's this dark patch here so i'm just going to um reduce that one so maybe the head the head arrow the head of the arrow would be reduced a bit for the stroke okay like this and i think this is this is okay all right so with this i can export my map okay so with this i can export my map as an image all right then i can say locator map like this yeah and save you remember you can always export it also as an svg or a pdf but it's basically the same thing so when you save it should give you a link to um the, the location of that file so when i double click on it to open i have something like this all right so that's it 